Tired of the everyday routine? Ever dream of a life of romantic adventure? Want to get away from it all? We offer you... Escape! Escape! Designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. Tonight, we escape to the English Channel in wartime and to a harrowing night crossing those gray, cold waters in a small boat with the threat of instant death in command, as David Devine tells it in his exciting story, Flood on the Good Winds. <laughs> That one? Where? Off to starboard. Mm. No, no, it's a mattress. Uh, blasted fog. Couldn't see the living, let alone the dead. I don't think we'll be finding any more. Not the way the fog is settling down now. Where do you figure the patrol boat is? Well, she ought to be about a couple of hundred yards to port. Uh. Take it easy now, Uncle. Don't want to ram her. Don't you worry about me, Dundas. Just you start singing out. Patrol boat ahoy! Patrol boat ahoy! Ahoy! Who are you? Captain Mac of the Mary E. They sound to be dead ahead, Mac. Better cut it back. Oh, I see her. We'll come about it. We're coming around your stern. Get any more? Yes, three. Watch out for those dinghies. I see them. Bear a hand there. Three more coming aboard. Any alive? No, all three are uh, drowned. Come on, Mac. Let's get them up there. Don't you bother, Dundas. Hey there! Can you send down a couple of men? Sure. My mate here, he's only got one flipper. Oh, now, look, Mac, that doesn't make any difference. What's the matter? Are you ashamed of it? Oh, no, but... Uh... Uh, forward there, men. Forward, right. I can swing my load like any man. Be sure I get my top back. Forward. Ah, uh, don't let it get you, boy. There's lots of amputees working these days. Amputee? Look, must you use that expression? Amputee is what you call a one-armed man. Amputee. What's wrong with it? Better than what you call those things. They're hoisting there. Amputee. I hate that word. Bloaters. You call them. Man's been floating around dead in the water. He gets bloated, see? Bloated. Very pretty. You know what you call a gabby old goat like you? Never mind, I never mind. That's the bunch. How many have been brought in to you so far? Counting your three, that makes 30. 30? You don't say. Lucky we got this fog. Without it, we'd be sitting ducks for any stukers or Messerschmitts that might be about. Or U-boats. Or U-boats. That's right. Was it a U-boat sent her down? No, man they brought in an hour ago, he said it was a time bomb. Sabotage. Yes. Went off in the forehead hole. Uh, Boom, bubble, bubble, bubble. Boom, bubble, bubble. You hear that, Dundas? I heard. My nephew lost his flipper in the RAF. Taking it real hard. Uh, you shouldn't take it hard. No, who says I shouldn't? No, no, don't get sore, laddie. I'm just trying to cheer you, don't you know? Yes, well, cheer me by getting your feet off this boat so we can shove off. Sure, laddie, sure. Casting off. Going back to Dover? Might as well. Fog's in for the night. We'll just make it by dark. Hello. Cheerio. Cheerio. He didn't have to bite his head off. Lay off me, Mac. He didn't mean any harm. I said lay off, Mac. Lay off. All right. All right. Thirty of them. Ah, so that's what's eating you. A saboteur. Can you imagine doing a thing like that? Can you see a man doing it? Well, it's... War, you know. War. Fighting is war. They didn't all drown. No, no, only 29 of them. Didn't he say one was alive? Yes. 
must be awful to drown. It's an awful way to die. Wonder if it'll clear tomorrow. Up ahead. Yes. Good navigating, Dundas. Ought to be right ahead of us. Mary? Yes, sir. We're coming in, dear. Dead ahead, Mac. All right. There, I'll jump it. Hello, you two. Hello, Mary. Hello. How was it, Uncle Mac? Uh, terrible, dear. Yes. Terrible. Were there many? Thirty. Oh, dear. That's it. Mac, how's the fuel? Ample. We didn't use a quarter of it. Are you going to fish tonight? Mm, ask Mac. It's his boat. Fishing tonight, Uncle Mac? In this fog? I should say not. Dundas can navigate for you in the water. They say it's as calm as a bathtub. Uh, well, I don't know. I brought your food in case you're going out again. I don't know. I, I think that husband of yours needs some sleep. Huh? Are you going to start again? What's wrong? All day long he's complaining like an old woman. Just because he's had the bad luck to lose his fin. Fin flipper, why can't you say arm? See? See what I mean? Well, you know, you are a little rough about it, Uncle Mac. Well, what ought I do? Help him feel sorry for himself? I'll cut it, both of you. Uh, there was a man to see you, Uncle Mac. Uh, who? We didn't say. He said he'd drop back. Well, what did he look like? Well, very tall, distinguished looking. Uh, who's that, Mac? Got me. <laughs> Tall, you say? Mm-hmm. Uh, and carrying a little briefcase. <laughs> Come for the payments on the boat, Mac. No. <laughs> ah. Would this be him? Hmm? Oh, yes. You're back. Just in time to catch them. Good, very good. You were looking for me? Yes. Yes, you're Captain Mac. That's right. And who is this? Mr. Dundas, my nephew. The, uh... The husband of this lady. Uh, Look, mister, who are you and what do you want? It's very simple. You must forgive my questioning. When one is engaged in my work, one can't be too careful. Your, uh, your work? Intelligence. Who? What's that got to do with us? I want to charter your boat for a trip. Oh, government work, eh? Yes. A secret mission. Uh, where, uh, where is it you want to go? To us, then. Tonight. Bel Belgium! That's a fair haul. And there's a U boat. The fog will cover you. Uh, what? What did you pay? The Crown provides handsomely in these cases. Hundred pounds. Get on. Oh, wait a minute, Mac. Huh? Mind showing us your credentials, mister? I shouldn't mind at all, fellow. Fact is, I'm not carrying any. You're not, huh? This isn't what you'd call a casual visit, you know. Oh, use your head, Dundas. He, he's going where the Nazis are. No credentials. And would you mind explaining why you're sniffing around a little fishing boat like this when you could cross on one of those big, fast torpedo boats they got up at the yard? I find this man insufferable, Captain. Uh, now, what do you say? Time's growing short. Why don't you take the torpedo boat? Or the sweeper. They got sweepers there, too, you know. As a matter of fact, and you should be able to understand, those are government boats. Might be seen by one of the enemy shore stations. In this fog? You're a liar, mister. <laughs> and you are a very astute fellow. Uh, Into the boats, all of you? A gun! Yes, my ticket to us, then. Put that thing down. Look out, Mac, you're serious. Indeed I am. Now, in. Dundas. Do what he says, Mac. Start the motor. Make me. Shall I? Start it, Mac. This, this is crazy. You, untie the ropes. And you, miss, sit up there. You don't stand a chance. We shall see. I'll sit up front with the lady. Front? <laughs> you don't know much about boats, do you? No, and I shan't pretend to. Uh-huh. Listen, mister. The harbor entrance is closed up. They got the submarine nets in there. I happen to know they're open until eight. Uh, I'd better warn you, no tricks. I'm very good with a gun. You are, eh? Dundas. He says he's very good. Shut up. Let's go. Oh, you're a Nazi. That's right. You talk like an Englishman. Oh, really? Ah, uh, Nazi. 
What are you, a spy? You could say that. What are you going back to the continent for? The war's not over. What time do you think we'll hit the Belgian coast? Around two. You didn't answer my question. What was that? Why are you leaving England? Scared? If you like. As a matter of fact, I'm returning because I've completed my mission. And what was that? Matter of a bomb. Sabotage? Naturally. That ship, the one that went down off the coast, was that your work? Yes. I planted the bomb in the hole this morning before she sailed from Dover. Stinking, filthy, bloody... Hold it, Mac. Hold it. Don't let him curse. I find him an amusing old gaffer. Thirty men drowned because of you. Thirty? Dear me. There were 45 aboard, you know. It was 29, Mac. 29? 30? What does it matter? This big, skinny Nazi, this sneak in the dark with his mission completed? Uh, well, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we were only joking, mister. Nobody was drowned. Oh, what are you talking about? 29? <laughs> your, your sense of security is a little delayed, one arm. Don't you call me one arm. Oh, sorry. <sighs> what... What's the time, Dundas? Quarter of. Ought to be passing Goodwin Sands. Hmm. Tide will be over them now. Uh, what time do they expose this time of year? Low tides at one. Uh, that means we get a fast ride back anyhow. If he lets us come back. Lousy Nazi. How do we know you won't kill us when we let you off? You have my word. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't take on, dear. I, I cannot help it. I'm frightened. Let her come back here with us. No. See how tough he is? Shoots women. If necessary. I'd like to see you get that close to me. Would you? Yes. Look, Nazi. I'm walking toward you. Matt, don't. You're asking for it, you know. Bloody Nazi pig. Don't take another step, Captain. Look, Mary. <laughs> Bloody pig. <laughs> He can't hear you, girl. Don't slow down, one arm. I want to get him. He's dead. He's very dead. He was a good man. He deserves burial. And burial he's got. Now push your throttle back up. No. Your wife is next, one arm. Dundas! That's better. And now... We continue our little voyage. In just a moment, we will return to Escape. But first, a show that brings laughter to millions week after week. That's something to be proud of. A show that wins a top award in critical competition. That's something to be proud of, too. And when a show comes along that does both, CBS proudly passes it along to you. You hear it exclusively now on most of these same CBS stations. You Bet Your Life, starring Groucho Marx. And there's the Bing Crosby show, Burns and Allen, Lum and Abner. There's the unbeatable lineup CBS has for you every Wednesday night. This fall, you hear them all on CBS. And now back to Escape and the second act of Blood on the Goodwins. <laughs> How much longer, Dundas? About an hour. I notice you change course from time to time. Why is that? The channel current. If you ride with it, you make better time. I see. And you'd like to be rid of my company as quickly as possible. That's right. I'm glad you're being reasonable. The old man was a fool. You think so, eh? Of course, and so do you. Why do you say that? You've seen the war. You know how it is. That's right. I know how it is. Dundas, don't talk like that. Why? What's wrong, Mary? Don't talk with him. He, he killed Uncle Mac. Not right to talk to him. Well, we find each other very interesting, Mary. Don't we? Oh, yes, indeed. Tell me, um, how did you lose your arm? RAF. I was a navigator. A very good one, I imagine. Yes. Did it, uh, happen over England? No, Bremen. Bremen. I see. 
You chaps did a very thorough job at Bremen. Yes. You are to be complimented. Thank you. Done this. Relax, Mary, relax. Oh, oh, done this. You must understand, Mary. What? May I call you Mary? You must understand it's a very extraordinary thing for the soldiers of warring nations to get together for a, a chat like this. Take a nap, Mary. Take a nap? Yes, why don't you? Here. You can pull this tarpaulin over. No, not that. What? It, it's got blood on it, that tarpaulin. Blood? But really, the old man was over there, don't you Not see? from him. Oh? We spent the day picking up after you. I see. And you used the tarpaulin for the bodies? <laughs> yes. Well, then, Mary. Of course, we mustn't use that. Please. Please, may I go back to where my husband is? No, you may not. Why? Why can't I'll I... tell you why you may not. You two are desperate, despite your husband's conversational manner. I should like to avoid the possibility of your rushing me. You see how it is, Mary? <laughs> I'm sure she understands. Just be very quiet, Mary. Everything will be all right. Of course, a lot depends on you, Dennis. Why do you say that? Don't you know what I'm talking about? Why, no. That wrench you picked up about 15 minutes ago. It's right behind you on the ledge. Thwart. Thwart, then. It's right behind you on the thwart. Do you mind dropping it overboard like a good fellow? Oh, that'd be a foolish waste. Wartime, you know. Wrenches are hard to come by. Yes, I'm sure. Then why not slide it over here? All right. Huh? Slide it. Even if you could hit me accurately enough to disable me, the gun would go off and, you know... I know. Here. Thank you, Dennis. Now then, where were we? Soldiers from warring nations. Oh, yes. Remarkable meeting. Gives us a chance to refresh ourselves on what it is we're fighting about. Dundas is fighting men who sabotage ships. Was, you mean, don't you? Well, was. Now I fight nothing. Cheyenne Vale. Unfortunately, I am still able. So, Miss, carry on. Well, I find it a little difficult to... Oh, excuse me. What's wrong? Navigation. I have to check my course. Oh, by all means. What course are you steering? Why don't you come and look? No, I don't think I'd better. Why not? You might have another wrench there. Or perhaps you'll try to take my gun. Which case, I'd have to shoot. Have to kill you. Then where would I be? I might steer all the way back to Dover without knowing it. That's so. And then I should have to kill your wife so she wouldn't inform. You see how it is. How do you know I'm not tricking you? Oh, I'm sure you're not. If we don't arrive by three, I'm going to kill her anyway. And then, if you should continue to be stubborn, there are ways of forcing you. You mean torture? Ordinarily, it's very difficult to do alone. But in your case, one arm. It should be comparatively simple. Well, let's not waste words on all that. I'm taking you where you want to go. And I'm counting on you to keep your word to allow us safe departure. Well, of course. I don't believe in Dundas. But why? Why not? Because you're what you are. And because Dundas might know something your people want to find out. Dundas, don't you see that they'll torture you? He's lying, Dundas. Please, Mary, please, don't worry. You have my word. My sacred words on my honor as a gentleman. You see, Mary, we have nothing to worry about. Yes, it must be wonderful to be out of the fighting. Not bad. I'll be glad when it's over. Think it'll be over soon? Quite. You've heard of our buzz bombs. Yes. That's only the beginning. We're developing weapons a thousand times as terrible. Oh, ten thousand times as effective. Really? Tell me about them. They... Your wife seems to have gone to sleep. Where? I can't see very well in this dark. <laughs> Against my knee. knee. Good. Uh, about your new weapons... You were saying 10,000 times is terrible. Yes, there are rockets, the like of which the English have not dreamed. Rockets that can travel 100 miles, 300, 
No one knows what their limitations will be. Radio controlled. Speed about 30,000 miles an hour. Altitude, 60 miles. And what they will carry, I... I leave to your imagination. Why well, leave it to my imagination? What? You wouldn't tell me all this uh, highly secret business if it were your intention to allow us safe departure, now, would you? I'm sure your agents know this by now. I don't know. But something tells me you've come to a decision about us. How much longer until we hit shore? Not long now. I'm bringing her into a deserted beach a few miles outside of our state. I see. If you look ahead, you may see the shoreline soon. Straight ahead? Yes. It's impossible. This fog is too much to... What? I've got it, Dundas. G give me that gun, you... Here, yeah, Dundas. Good work, Mary. Stand back, fellow. That's it. Now raise them good and high. Oh, Dundas, I, I thought he'd never drop his wrist. I waited and waited. Here, Mary, take the wheel. Hold that course. Yes, Dundas. Well, well. It's a remarkable woman, your wife. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, there's no cartridge in the chamber. Well, it's pointed at your gut. Why don't I pull the trigger and see if you're telling the truth? Perhaps you'd better not. I don't see why not, if it's empty. No. No, it's loaded. Uh huh? You, uh... I wonder... I wonder if you're the type who can kill the man he's facing. I don't know. I've never done it. It's very difficult, you know. Just think of me as a fellow human being, flesh and blood like yourself. Think of the infinite genius that went into making this body of mine. Skin, muscles, arteries, veins, organs, vessels in the blood. The blood. Murder is a very difficult thing when you're face to face with the murdered. I know. I don't feel as though I could kill you right at this minute. But suppose I try. All I have to do is squeeze the trigger ever so little. Wait. No, don't. Don't. Why not? My... My life is worth a lot to me. More, believe it or not, than my pride, my honor, my love of Germany. Oh, much, much more than that. All right, have you a proposition? Dundas. Be still, Mary. I know what I'm doing. Yes, you keep out of this. What's your proposition? Money. You're going to need money, aren't you? A one arm has a tough time of it in peacetime. Jobs are hard to get. Go on. I have several accounts in London banks. Big accounts. I can write you a check. You can cash it tomorrow. How much? A thousand pounds. I can't hear you. Dundas, don't do this. Two thousand. Three. Five, then. And that's all the money I have in the world. What about on you? Yes, yes, yes. In the, in the briefcase. A hundred and fifty pounds. I'll don't get... move. But the briefcase... I'll take care of that after you leave. Write the check for 5,000 pounds. Oh, Dundas, please. Please don't do it. Your wife doesn't... doesn't understand these things. No. This is the way of the world, dear. Dundas. And for this, I let you off at the beach. Of course, I want to warn you against mentioning my name. Yes, but... but of course... Here. Here's your check. Thank you. Aren't... Aren't you going to shoot me now? No. A bargain's a bargain. I'll follow through. Why, you... You are an... An honest man. Deal's a deal. Yes, yes, that's right. I'd better take the wheel. Shall... Shall I take the gun, Dundas? No. Please, Dundas, please, let me hold no, it. No, Mary. Well, why in the name of heaven can't I? You can't steer and cover him at the same time, not with one hand. If you take the gun, you'll shoot him, Mary. I know you. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. And that'd be dishonest, Mary. We've made a deal, this man and I. Yes, yes, an honorable deal. But how to steer and all that does pose a problem. Uh, uh, Mary, bring me that big wrench. All right, Dundas. Well, what, what are you going to do? Well, since I can't handle the wheel and the gun, and since Mary's not to be trusted, I'll keep the wrench for just in case. And solve the gun problem very simply. Dundas, you... Oh, and you, you sir, idiot. you'll find a fishing line with lead on the end of it right up there in the front locker. Sure. Why? I'm going to slow down now. We're almost there. You'll do the sounding for me. Yes. Yes, of course. You deliberately threw that gun overboard. You're selling out. Five thousand pounds, dear. As the Yanks put it, that ain't hay. I have the line. All right, throw it ahead of you. Then feel when it touches bottom. Then measure the depth by your spread arms. 
Here it goes. Oh, Danny's darling. Darling, I know the war's a shock to you, losing your arm and all, but don't do this. You'll regret it. You'll regret it all the rest of your days. Hit bottom. How deep? Two. Three. Four. Five. Five, that's all. All right, we're closing in on the coast. Swing again. Right. We'll hear the surf in a minute now. It'll not be very strong. It's low tide, you know. Two. Three. And a half. All right, get ready to jump. Jump? Now, this boat hasn't got wheels. You'll have to walk the last ten feet in. All right. Get ready. Here we are. The minute you feel a scrape bottom, jump out and push the bow around. Right. Dundas. Dundas. Shh. Here I go. Good night. Good night, sucker. Why, sucker? That check. The bank is short of funds to the name I signed. Oh, really? Found the beach? Yes, I'm on it. Take a few steps. Why? You'll see. It, it stops. There's water beyond. The bank is short of funds. That beach is short of sand. Where am I? You're on Goodwin Sands. Dover's just six miles that way. Which way? <laughs> I didn't say. And if you're thinking of swimming, I can tell you, you don't stand a chance. You thief! You mother of murder! It's low tide now, but wait a while. In a few hours, it'll be ten feet over your head. Drowning's not pleasant, Nazi. If you had your gun, you could shoot yourself. You could hang yourself with your belt, but there are no trees. So think about those men you drowned today. Think about them while you wait. I may be around to pick up your body soon. Maybe. Wait! Wait! Good night, bloater! Escape is produced and directed by William N. Robeson. Tonight we have presented Blood on the Goodwins by David Devine, adapted for radio by James Poe. Featured in the cast were Jack Edwards as Dundas, Will Gear as Uncle Mac, and Barton Yarborough as the Nazi. Also heard were Betty Lou Gerson and Eric Snowden. Special music was arranged and conducted by Del Castillo. Next week... You are high in the mountains of Peru, digging frantically for a vast fortune in golden Inca relics. Upon your success hangs the fate of a beautiful woman and your own life. Next week we escape with a thrilling tale of one of the most murderous treasure hunts ever made. As David Dodge tells it in his exciting story, Plunder of the Sun. Goodbye then, until this same time next week, when once again we offer you Escape. A fellow named Bob Hope will turn up on the Bing Crosby show this Wednesday night, so don't say we didn't alert you for the show of the week. This verbal tennis match between Bing and Bob will be broadcast on most of these same CBS stations, along with the Groucho Marx Show, Burns and Allen, and Lum and Abner, all Wednesday night CBS features. Tune in, tune in this fall For the shows that you love best of all Listen carefully Here's the address It's CBS, CBS Stay tuned now for Life with Luigi, which follows immediately over most of these same CBS stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.